I sat down with um, a project supporter in the very early days when we were planning this, and he says it's such a fantastic project. I can think of maybe a million reasons why it won't work, though. And a couple of years ago, I got together with him again, and I said we must be down to maybe the last 100,000 reasons now. My name's Steve Cramp, uh, I'm the project leader for the Mount Sol and Rotha Community Heritage Centre and the Mount Sol Railway Project. Um, I've been doing this for eight years. We were hoping to, to work with uh, the GCR and an organisation called Railway Vehicle Preservations who, who had already got uh, an aspiration to restore the branch line. So we didn't initially sort of um, think of doing it ourselves. It was only when their scheme uh, failed that um, uh, that we, we we sort of we were quite sort of uh, um, uh, saddened really that the opportunity had been lost. So we thought, well, maybe this is something that we could do ourselves because there seemed to be a wealth of of interest and enthusiasm within the community to do it. So perhaps in a moment of madness, we sort of said, okay, let's have a go. At it. My name is Nigel Copson. I used to work for Lafarge Quarry and they asked me if I'd come and with the machines from the quarry to help out on the heavy work. I've since retired but <laughs> I, Mr Clamp has found me a little machine and I still keep coming and doing it a little bit. I, I come mainly because it's enjoyable and it's and we can see something at the end of it and everybody seems to appreciate what we're doing so I just keep coming. Yeah. My name is Stephen Miller. I um, live locally uh, in the village which is very close to the other end of the line from where we are now. Uh, I've always had a, an interest in the GCR and history and uh, obviously it was natural for me being local to come and see what was happening and I came down one Saturday uh, very very early on with the project and um, there was a really interesting and uh, helpful group of people down here and I, I spent a morning working with them. Really really enjoyed it out in the quiet of the countryside uh, working with the team uh, and I've never left since, so I've been working here now for getting on for six, seven years on a Saturday morning. I thought uh, there was an opportunity here to, to be able to do historical recreations and engage the community with their past. Everybody knows about Henry VIII and, and the various wars and things like that, but local history is always something that sort of disappears and swept under the carpet. Uh, and I think it's important because it shapes the communities and the, the villages, the towns, the cities where we live. It was just a case of saying, look, we're going to try and restore the Mount Sol Railway, we want to protect her heritage and so on. And I was amazed by the amount of people that just came along and said, wow, I would like to get involved in this. I've been volunteering between four and five years. I can't keep away now. If I don't come on a Saturday, I'll get my draw simple. My name is Brian Phillips. I've been with the project for uh, seven and a half years, almost from the concept. Um, I'm a retired aviation engineer. And why do I do it? Simple answer, if you sit in a chair when you're retired, you won't last very long. So I keep busy. I'm 80 years of age, and I intend to say that. I had a train set when I was a little boy. Uh, I, wouldn't, um, I wouldn't class myself as, as a, a sort of a hardcore railway enthusiast. Uh, I mean, I've got my anorak on today, but that's only because um, uh, because it's supposed to be raining now, and we wanted to stay dry. But but um, but really, my focus is 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 like I say, local history in general, and and I think the railway was a big part of Mount Sorrel's history, um, and I saw an opportunity there to to recreate some of that history, and, and we took it. bombarded by problems there's problems one after another 
Um, and it's, it's sometimes you just think, why am I doing this? I'm doing this as a volunteer. And, you know, it, it's supposed to be pleasurable and enjoyable. And, of course, at times it's not. There are difficulties. And, uh, and when you're sitting there at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, trying, to, trying to, you know, get things finished and problems sorted out and, and so on, um, you know, you, yeah, you do think... Mm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea but but then you look back at the end at the end of the day every time you have a doubt like that I just I just come down here and have a look around five minutes and I think yeah I know why I'm doing this now hopefully what we've achieved here and the benefit this will bring to the community for many many years to come is is worth a, a few sacrifices I've had a good career and I've achieved a lot with that but but what this has enabled me to explore personally is, is is to take my boundaries you know maybe to new levels I know it sounds silly but if somebody said to me right we, we're gonna put we're gonna fly somebody to Mars we want you to do it I'll probably say okay bring it on that's about it I think